Hey guys, welcome to the loop cut and edge loop tutorial for Blender. In this video, we're going to go over the concept of an edge loop, what it is and how to move it and select it, as well as how to create your own edge loops by cutting into your existing faces. So let's just jump into it. Here we have our default cube as always. And we are going to be doing this in edit mode because it is a modeling tool. And I'm going to go ahead and press tab to go into edit mode. And you'll notice this cube looks a little bit different than usual, and that's for a reason. Don't freak out if yours doesn't look like this. So I actually prepared this cube beforehand to show you what an edge loop looks like. So this is a subdivided cube, and an edge loop is this right here. I'm going to go into wireframe mode. So what I did there to select this edge loop was actually just I held Alt and then right clicked. So I can either select the horizontal edge loop here by selecting the horizontal edge or selecting the vertical edge loop like this. So that's how you select edge loops. You just simply hold alt and then right click. That will give you essentially as much of an edge loop as the program can offer. Now, if you're selecting something like this, it will go as far as it can. This is as far of an edge loop as it can, which is also why I cut into the cube because the default cube inherently does not have any completely closed edge loops like this. So other than selecting edge loops, you can also do something called sliding edge loops. And it's a very, very handy tool to have when you want to adjust the topology in some way. And so if you want to slide an existing edge loop after you have it selected, simply hit G and then G again. So you'll actually be able to slide your edge loop along the faces here. And so that's a very handy tool. And of course, you left click to confirm or right click to cancel. So that's the same as every other transformation, but it's a very handy tool. Basically, you just press G twice and it'll slide along the faces there. Now, in case you guys are wondering how I created that subdivided cube there, I went ahead and spawned a default cube with absolutely no edge loops. And you can see here when I select these, it doesn't really do much of anything in terms of edge loops. So how do you create an edge loop out of something that has none? Now, it's actually very easy to create your own edge loops by cutting into the faces that exist already. So there's a very handy tool for that. It's called the loop cut tool and its hotkey is control R. So if we go ahead and hit control R now, you'll notice that this pink line shows up. This pink line represents where the loop cut will be. So if you just drag your mouse to approximately where you want the edge loop to be, it's pretty intuitive. It will cut where you want it to be. Just wait for the pink line to line up with where you want it. Now, I'm going to go ahead and cut it vertically now. So I'm going to make sure my pink line lines up this way. I can either cut it vertically this way or this way. Let's go ahead and cut it this way. And I want to cut it directly in the middle. So I'm going to go ahead and left click. And that's going to actually allow me to now drag and slide the loop cut. So by default, it allows you to slide before confirming. Now, right now in this state, if I want to keep it in the middle, I don't want to confirm any of these sliding things because that's based on eyeballing. Instead, I can simply right click to cancel. That doesn't cancel the loop cut, but it cancels the slide. So what it will do is it will bring it to the middle of the geometry. So that's a way you can cut directly into the middle of the mesh. And of course, with the sliding option, let's go ahead and do this now. You can also simply left click to confirm before you even finish the loop cut. So that is a great way to actually loop cut, add a loop, slide it, add a loop, slide it, add a loop, slide it, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And this is basically how I made the cube from last time. And I can right click to simply cut right there in the middle and it'll cut into the middle of whatever face you're cutting into like so. But yeah, that's about it for loop cuts.